Hey y'all, I'm coming to you or coming at you with a video on my empties that I finally completed. A lot of these I've been trying to hurry up and get rid of. I don't know why it took so long to get rid of them. And then some of them is like I started using it so I could go ahead, throw it, you know, get rid of it. So, and it's quite a few things I finally got to empty, like this bag of empties and this basket. <laughs> So, uh, as I'm talking to you, I'm be dumping this stuff in the trash can because, you know, I've been so ready to get rid of this stuff. So, well, not like get rid of, like, I'll let you know when I get to the point of the thing. It's not a lot, but a lot of things that I've been ready to get rid of because I've been holding on too long and I, I don't even know why. But let me jump into it so this video won't be long. And y'all, to me, I like my lighting today because it's bright for some reason. Um, I swear it seems like normally my lighting is terrible. Maybe I may still may start doing it in my room because the light shines brighter. I'm normally doing it in the dining room and the light not bright. But let me get into this video. First thing I'm going to start off with is this soap. I, one day I had ran out of um soap that normally I just refill the soap in my um bathroom and kitchen little dispensers, but um I you know I didn't feel like going to the store where I normally get my soap to um refill the dispensers, which is Walmart. For some reason I have not been feeling like going to well it's a lot of days I don't feel like going to Walmart, but. And in Walmart, not the only place. I just, the dollar, Family Dollar General is like down the street from me. Like, it, it's not even, a, I was probably like 0 0.59 miles away from me. And it was just right there. And I needed some soap for the bathroom. So, they really wasn't, I don't know. This was the cheapest thing that I was looking for. I mean, the cheapest thing that I saw until I could get, um, to, where, get to what I normally get. And after purchasing this, now I think I'm going to just start buying hand soaps like in containers instead of refilling my hand soap. Due to the fact, I just like doing this better because I can just throw it away. My um hand soaps dispense. It seems like I always have to wash it off because I guess the soap build up and stuff like this where I can just throw this away. Wish I thought about doing that for a long, long time ago, but I didn't. So that's what I'm going to do for right now. But you know how people are... Uh, how you can be sometimes you'll switch it up but first thing is this soap i was ready to get rid of this because to me it dry out your I, like i told you i just it was um family dollar store was right there so that's why i decided to go ahead and go there and pick it up you know family dollar store is right there and i could just walk in there and get it instead of shopping around because i knew i wasn't trying to get nothing else but some soap and i just picked this up because it was cheap it was two dollars and it seemed like it'll last a while till I can get to the store. Last long enough till I get to the store. But this stuff kind of dry your hands out. You really need some um, lotion behind it. And it's called a Golden Antibacteria Hand Soap. And this is it. And I like I said, I got it from the Family Dollar Store. I know y'all like, dang, why you had to go through that long speech just to tell? I don't know. It's just me. Another hand soap I purchased. This is a Dollar Tree. And like I said, now I like doing the, um, just getting the containers instead of refilling my, um, soap dispenser. This was a Yardley soap, um, dispenser and it's, um, Berry Blossom. I like this because it had a good smell to it. And it don't dry, it didn't dry my hands out as much as the other one. So I did like this one, but like I said, I bought this at the Dollar Tree and I only saw one. And I don't think I hardly ever see this at the Dollar Tree, but this was one that I finished. Yeah, I go through bathroom soap like it ain't nothing. Uh, another thing, I had this for a while. I used to buy these from this girl. It's these little um wax melters. You put them in your wax holder. And I stopped using that wax thing for a while. I don't know. I, had, I just had stopped using, and I bought this. I, I, like, bought buku of these things from this girl I used to work with. She used to sell them. I don't know. She may still sell them because I see her website there, and I, I got so many that I don't even think to look up her website. But um, it's called um, 
Scentsy or something like that. But it's um a wax, like you put the little wax thing in the um candle melter or whatever. And, you know, it makes a good smelling aroma in your apartment or your house or whatever. I use it for the bathroom now. I just started back using it. And I use it in my bathroom. And it smells good. This scent was called Lucky Love. Yeah, Lucky Love Sensory Bar. It smells good. I hate I don't have any more of that scent. And I love fruity scents or berry scents, flowery scents. So that was a good smelling um thing. Y'all, now these here, I tried to hurry up and get rid of. I bought these from the Dollar Tree. At first, I was using these as like little wood knots to sit on your tables or whatever. And then it was like, I didn't like this no more. So I wanted to hurry up and use them to um get rid of them and put something else on my table. I'll, I'll just get it off my table because that's how I had it. Like, you know, like a little decoration on your table. So I burned these mugs to go and get rid of them. But I know y'all have seen these at the Dollar Tree. I was going to wash this out and put something, use it as a holder. But I'm like, I already got too much junk. So I had four, two of these. And these two. I finally used up. Thank goodness. Because now I can, you know, sometimes you, I don't know. I'm from that school where, um. The parents seem like they just like decorations on every wall, every type. And trust and believe, I don't do that. But it's like I was feeling, I was sticking decorations on my table, and I don't, I I don't prefer that anymore. I don't like that look anymore. And I have these two, and I had these in my bathroom as a decoration sitting on the back of my toilet. And I just wanted something different, so I went ahead and used these up. Now I like these to burn, and I poured a little um oil you know like the smelling oils that you use in an oil burner i poured these in my candles and it get let out a good aroma so i did like these also i think my um well yeah, i'm gonna have to get another trash can i'm using a little small one in my room and it didn't fill it up so far so another thing i love this stuff I've used it on, um, I first got turned on to this in Shreveport when I start, when I used to start work, when I had started working out a lot in Shreveport and it was for my muscles, but I realized it does help grow your hair as well as your um, nails and stuff. I've never been a person who have long nails, but now that I'm older, I think because I was missing a vitamin. What vitamin? I do not know. But I always had a long, hard time growing my nails and my hair. But now that when I started getting older, learning about experimenting with the different vitamins and things, it's like now my hair grows like longer than I, I'm not going to even like, like I had long hair when my mom used to take care of my hair. But when you know, you start getting older and taking care of it in high school, permanent and stuff. It's like I never could get it to the length that it used to be when I was a kid. And like I said, I think um, because I was missing a vitamin and my mom was not the type of mom who would take you to the hospital unless you got real sick. She always had her own remedies for it and it worked. She just didn't take us to the hospital. Like talking about like less than something she couldn't cure. And I started taking this here vitamin called MSM powder. And like when I was living in Shreveport, it was on and off. But it's been consistently now, like after I had my surgery, I'm like being kind of consistent on a lot of vitamins to help heal my stomach and stuff and help me with my workout. Cause baby, I need, for some reason, since I got older, I, my joints don't hurt, but for some reason, my knees right at the corner of my knee, I'm always, it, it was like always hurting. But I noticed when I was taking this like every morning in my water, baby i don't have problems with my knees and i stay upstairs so it was like i'm having to go up those doggone stairs and i was like and i hated doing it because of my doggone knees but that stuff been helping but let me stop talking um so much and this here um y'all this was called tropical glow by t um tree hut i'm talking about t hut and it was a firm and sugar scrub 
I got rid of it. I, now, if do it help with Furman, I don't know. Maybe it would if I would have been keeping up with my workouts and things like that, which I'm trying to do now. But I don't know if it did. I just know it smelled good and it made my skin feel good. So I finally got rid of that. Okay. And y'all, this avocado oil. I bought this from Big Lot because I never um, use avocado oil. I always was um, stuck on olive oil. Once I started cooking on my own and moved out the house from my mom, I always use olive oil or coconut oil. So I tried this and this is for, gonna be in my um, kitchen also. I'm gonna buy a big thing of it. But I do like this. This is a good oil and it don't burn quickly. This is another scrub that I use called foam, um, Foaming Sugar Scrub. Champagne Wishes. And it's by Oxy Bathroom House. My niece gave me this. I didn't buy it. She was trying out a different scrub and it was too fruity smelling for her. She don't like fruity smells. Me, baby. Old as I am. Because I know they always say when you get older you should shy away from fruity smells. I don't. I love them. I love me some fruity spells, but this is how that product looks. And I believe she got this from Walmart. And I like that. That scrub was a good scrub. But I don't I don't think I, I haven't even looked back at Walmart to see if they had it. And I'm not sure if that's where she got it from. I finished my bottle of this and I re already replenished. But you know what? These suckers they went up. I remember when I bought this, it was like four dollars and or five dollars. Now they six dollars or something. I tell you, as they call it, inflation is whooping our butts. I bought this because I like sticking this in my shakes. Yeah, that's the only thing I use it for is my shakes. It's called a um, imitation vanilla extract. And I like putting this in my shakes. I bought this from the 99 cent store because I haven't seen a big bottle like this. They don't have it at the 99 cent all not Yeah, 99 cent store. They don't have it all the time, but when they do, I grab it. And I did get another. I do have another backup one. But I haven't been using that one as much. Also, um, I use this to um when I go work out, I rub it around my belly and my back to burn more. And it works to me because I sweat real good. And I put the trash bag on with it. But I sweat it's real good when I have this on with it. And I was wanting to show this because this flavor is so good. And why I do not see it no more, I bought it out of Ross. Because these here, I always buy the Ross or Target. And it's the Chocolate Caramel Truffle. Girl, woo, y'all. Girl. Or if it's dudes watching, y'all. This here tastes good in your coffee, your shakes. Mm -mm -mm. Give it another level. This is a Dollar Tree product I used on my, um, on my wigs. Not my hair, because I have other stuff that I used on my... Did I use it on my hair? No. No. This is what I used on my wigs. And they help shake it back. Wigs, I don't be caring too much. I use Dollar Tree products for um to wash my wigs with. But I use this. It's called Repairing Shampoo Honey Roll Jelly Propolis. Y'all, this was good. I used it on my human hair lace front wigs, and it worked good. These here I want to show you because I know I've seen some they say don't ever use Dollar Tree vitamins. I bought these. They look different now at the Dollar Tree, but I was having a problem with being tired, a little sluggish, but I don't take this kind of stuff anymore. But it did help give me that boost, and it I was using it for the gym. I needed that extra boost to get through my workout because <laughs> I hadn't been working out in a long time, like almost a year. And I needed that boost to get me to get pet, you know, get through my workout. Not gonna buy them anymore because I don't need that boost as much anymore like I did when I first started. But these used to give me that I, I was able to get through my workout. But they do make you a little jittery. I bought this from Walmart. This is a body wash. It's a rose water. It's good to be cheap. I don't see nothing wrong with. I know Dove, I use Dove. I use the expensive ones, but I'm still, I'm, I use cheap ones too. And I thought this was pretty good. And it, it's a lot of it. It's a lot of it. Also, I use this, I bought this from the Dollar Tree. It's the Room Spray. Y'all, this Room Spray, 
I do not spray this in the rooms. I pour this in my um I use the lip plug-ins. I refill it in those plug-ins. Because I don't see it doing all that just a bit of good. I don't know. It may work, but to me, I use it in those plug-ins. My holy grail. Baby, I love this kind of um this here stuff to lay my wigs down with. I use it to lay my hair and then I spray um, you know, the holy spray. Because I take the mugs off when it's nighttime. But I like that stuff. I really like that. And I just want to show how I finished this. I already re-upped on them. And I love these oils, aroma oils. This is the red rose. If you all ever be at the I bought I buy this at the um beauty supply store. If you see these at the beauty supply store and you use like the oil fusions or the little candle burn, I mean the um I don't know what you call it, but you can buy them at the Dollar Tree. You like the little tea tree candles and you pour the oil in there. These smell good. They really do have your house smelling good. They really, really do. To say it's not a, I don't guess it's a fancy brand. I, I only pay $1.99 for this at the um hair store. And it smells good. This is the rose, red rose. Finally finished this. And I love these masks. These Freeman masks. This was um the Rejuvenating Cucumber Plus Salt. This is an itching mask. I think when um it's done doing what it's supposed to do, it starts itching, let you know it's ready. Because it used to itch my face after it set so long. Real itchy. But it does, I feel like it does your skin good. I have no problems with it. I'm not going to rebuy it because I have too much stuff, too much facial stuff that I need to get through with um before I rebuy. Also, I have this women's product. This is my holy grail. This is what I order every time off of Amazon. I see they sell it at Walmart now. This is my holy grail probiotic pill. But I did buy another probiotic pill um, that I'm testing out that I bought from Big Lots that's a little smaller. I mean, a little cheaper. They like $7.99 versus this is this. It, um, it, fluctuates because sometimes I can get it for $17.99 and then $21.99 but now I see you sell it at Walmart I used to only could get it off of Amazon but these are real good once I finish um my probiotic pill that I bought from um Big Lots I'm gonna go back to these it's just I know they work I've been sticking with I've been rocking with these from day one so finally this the end y'all know i talk too much but that's it i've got a chance to empty a good many of my products so i'm so happy about that that i emptied all these next month i hope i have just as many products and maybe y'all have used some of these y'all can tell me which um do you like these products that you've used if you've used any or tell me about some of the stuff in the comments below on um, what you've emptied. I don't care what you say. Try to be sweet. I know I ain't the one. So you don't have to say, oh, you're ugly. You know how people be. You don't have to say all that. But if you want to, I don't care. But um, just comment below and subscribe if you haven't. And take care. Bye.